shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. In some future day, artificial intelligence and the mind will become one. <laughs> wow. I, I think it's I think it's brilliant. One at one point, someday in the future, it will become very hard to separate uh, the human mind from AI, where one begins and where one ends. Just think of the power of the combination of artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and big data. Um, I think we have to be prepared for a world where we see a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological uh, dimensions. So it will be a world integrating the physical, biological, and um, the uh, digital dimensions. So it will be a new world. The physical and the digital worlds, they will grow together and the result is exactly what you just said. I wanted to ask when you all think we're going to move from this form factor to something that's on your face glasses and compu when computing's all on the edge. All right, 50 seconds, you want to answer quickly. <laughs> I think it will go, it, it will, first of all, it will definitely happen. I, 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 I was talking about 6G earlier, which is around 20, 2030. I would say that by then, definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore will be the usual kind of the most common interface Honestly, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our body world economic forum and nokia are planning to implant smartphones into your body at the 2022 davos meeting nokia's ceo said his company and the wef are working and planning to launch smartphones that will be implanted directly into your body and that this is going to coincide with the rollout of a 6G technology. You all will have your plans. This is the mark of the band. Would you look over here, Doctor? Now, to look at that hand, You'd never dream you were also looking at a miracle in modern communications, would you? Well, sir, let's take a closer look. Thanks to the science of microelectronics, you are looking at a complete telephonic receiver and transmitter. We call it the Cerebrum Communicator, or the CC for short. This dandy little device can actually perform every function of the old-fashioned telephone and more. And it does it without any costly maintenance. Without telephone poles, without wires, without exchanges without anything in fact except another CC in another location. Now you're probably wondering why have we made it so small? <laughs> because it will be in and powered by your own brain. So what a lot of kind of entrepreneurs want to do is in order to have humans keep up with machines, they want to merge our brains with machines so that we can start thinking in real time in the internet. So the thing you have in your pocket, cell phone, smartphone, basically can be put in through your head through an implant or a headset. Already in Florida, they're doing things like racing drones around a track and stuff like that, um, just using brainwave technology. And um, already you can have conversations in your mind with people through brain uh, uh, headsets and brainwave uh, implants and things like that. And we're going to get to a point, you know, Elon Musk says there'll be a commercial device in five years. I don't know if that's the case, but definitely within 10 years, there's a good chance that there will be a commercial device on the market that will allow you to talk to your friend or give a speech in real time like I'm doing now where people would actually hear it and listen and maybe answer back and you would hear it in your head. So the, the, I, the question, are we going to get brain implants? It, it's almost 100% yes. When I make a phone call, if I don't have uh, an earpiece... Uh, I have to take this flat piece of material and put it against my curved head and hold my arm up in an awkward position. Uh, and sooner or later, this light phone gets heavier and heavier. It, it, it is not optimum for speech. You, in your generation, certainly the next generation, uh, will have uh, the phone 
uh, maybe embedded under the skin near their ear, and they'll get the, uh, they, they won't have to have a uh, charging, which is a real pain, as you know, uh, because your body is, is a perfect charger.